and welcome back to our channel. We just uh, went to Tesco to go grocery shopping, so I decided to do a grocery haul to show you um, what we eat in about like two weeks and what all we buy at British grocery stores. And at the end of this video, I will have a short little clip of a couple foods that we bought at the commissary on base um, because there are just a few things that we could not find. So we just went to the commissary to get those American foods. So in total for the next two weeks, we spent 89 pounds at Tesco, which is about $114. I did the math online, I'm not actually that smart. And we spent $28 at the commissary. So in all, that's less than $150 for two weeks, which we are very proud of because before this, we were just shopping at the commissary mainly. And it came out to like $300 every two weeks because the commissary is very expensive. So we decided to try our luck at British grocery stores and we saved a lot. So we will get into that video and show you what we bought. Okay, so first up at Tesco, we got this gallon of 1% fat milk. Um, we got these four green bell peppers because I'm planning to make stuffed peppers later this uh, week. We have two lemons because I enjoy lemon water a lot. Two avocados, we have two tomatoes, three onions, and a six pack of apples. Okay, up next we have uh, frozen broccoli, which I'm planning to cook into some stir fry that I'll make later on. We have potatoes, canned potatoes, and canned green beans, which will also go into the stir fry and possibly other recipes if I can think of any. We have two pepperoni pizzas, uh, 500 grams of chicken breasts, then we have two 750 gram packages of ground beef. We also got these two enchilada kits because we could not find enchilada sauce anywhere. Um, and I could have just made it, but we ran across these and they come with tortillas and enchilada sauce and enchilada seasoning. So that is perfect. And they were only like two pounds each, um, which was very surprising. So we got those for the enchiladas. We also have these refried beans. Um, I'm going to put some of those in the enchiladas and then some of those we'll just eat on the side with that. We had taco mixed beans, which William actually got for chili, I think, even though we didn't buy any chili. So I'll probably find some kind of recipe to um, cook those into. And then we got sweet and spicy Mexican seasoning and this Mexican street food seasoning because I was supposed to find taco seasoning for the enchiladas again but I couldn't find it anywhere. We should have just gotten that at, at the commissary, but um, next up we have cocoa powder and oats, which I'm planning to just bake into some cookies. If you couldn't tell, I love baking and cooking. So I bought a lot of um, just random ingredients for that kind of stuff. Then we got smooth peanut butter and crunchy peanut butter because William loves crunchy and I love smooth. Um, and we also got 15 eggs. We got rice for the stuffed peppers and for the stir fry. We got mayonnaise, uh, chili powder, garlic salt, and we got these Starbucks um, espresso for our coffee maker because we we're looking for K-cups. They uh, had lots of different weird kinds, so we're probably just gonna buy those um, at the commissary from now on. But we are going to try these and see how they work out in our coffee machine. We have spicy Thai sweet chili hand-cooked potato crisps that um, William picked out. We haven't tried these, but he um, likes flavored chips or crisps like this, so hopefully he'll like that. We have these snack jacks cheese flavors, which are basically uh, cheese-flavored rice cakes, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I chose those to try because we haven't tried those yet. We have regular Hovis soft white medium bread. Live. Live. Live trying your sweet, spicy. That just looks like a barbecue chip. It's a crisp balloon. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? That's not bad. That's not bad. It just bad. tastes too much like a barbecue chip. Really? For it to be like I mean, a ten out of ten. Anyways, yeah, we got this Hovis white bread, which I call British bread. Um, we also got these eight pancakes, which are already like made and everything. Um, you have to like reheat them obviously in like a microwave or 10 seconds in a pan. That's really weird. They have these like 
all over England. Um, and we couldn't find any pancake mix at uh, Tesco, surprisingly. Maybe we just missed it and maybe they don't have it. So we got these. I also got these salt and pepper crackers uh, just to try as a little snack. And then we have some raisins. Then of course I have to get some wine. I absolutely love wine of all colors. Um, and I've just been experimenting lately with different wine flavors. Lastly, at Tesco, we got a whole bunch of British candy because we are planning to do a British candy taste test. We also got these um, crazy sour Skittles, which are obviously um, we have in America. But these are actually a bit different. William already opened them to eat them. But they don't have like the sugar crystals on the outside. And they're a lot harder and um, more sour in my opinion, so that's interesting. I thought that they would taste the same, but they're a little bit different. Okay, now on to the commissary. We only got a couple things at the commissary. We um, got Mexican style shredded cheese and mozzarella shredded cheese. We absolutely love cheese and these will be used in a lot of recipes. We have tried British cheese before. It's just different. It's not um, as artificially flavored, which is actually good. But since we both love cheese so much, we're kind of just used to this um, American cheese. So I think we'll typically stick to getting our cheese at the commissary. We also have two packs of salted butter, um, the little uh, individually packaged ones. Because we have tried butter from British stores before, and it's weird. They're not like individually packed like these tiny little um, rectangles. It'll be like this huge chunk that's the size of this box, and you'll just have to cut it yourself. So that's very odd. This is just a lot more convenient. I don't know. They might have butter like this somewhere in England, but I haven't seen it yet. So we stick to getting our butter at the commissary for the most part. And then we also got American cheese for like, um, for like grilled cheese and stuff like that. At the commissary, we also got pop-ups, which yes, are off-brand of Pop-Tarts, but they taste exactly the same and they save us like over a dollar. So we do that. Um, William likes the fruity ones and I like the chocolate ones. Lastly, at the commissary, we got another dog bowl for Sophie so that she can stop using one of our actual bowls um, so that we can have that one back. And we got these sandwich bags, just a little random thing that we needed. Thank you so much for watching our grocery haul. Once again, like I said at the beginning, we only spent under $150 for all of this. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe to see more videos. We post weekly vlogs every Monday and occasional videos like this on Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.